and break. We hope no danger anybody when it went down. Well, that's, that's you know that's the thing is that uh, when number uh, number two went down, you know I, I don't think. The U.S. Geological Survey website provides us with a definition of a pyroclastic flow as a ground-hugging avalanche of hot gas and debris. The rising gas chimney is clearly visible in this photo of the North Tower implosion with pyroclastic flows between buildings. The cauliflower shape of the debris clouds is a telltale sign of pyroclastic flows generated by massive explosions typical of volcanic eruptions and controlled demolitions. A pyroclastic surge can even flow over water as hot gases carry dust created by explosive energy. Here, the South Tower implosion creates a pyroclastic surge moving out over the Hudson River. Once again, our definition of a pyroclastic flow. Hot gases carrying dust and debris flow along the ground with a fluid motion. It requires explosive energy to generate the necessary heat, dust and debris. Turbulence and fluidization of debris are characteristic. Let's watch the fall of Seven World Trade again, this time with Rick's original audio. Mount Pinatubo's eruption illustrates the fluid movement of the pyroclastic flow. Difficulties around the area, New Jersey Transit outbound oh, Holocaust oh, Terminal oh, operating oh, on a load and go oh, basis, no inbound oh, service, oh, and also out of Newark Penn Station, limited service on the Northeast Carter and North Jersey uh, coastlines and the Raritan line as well, and limited service from Penn Station and New York into Penn Station and Newark, and no service into the city on New Jersey Transit.